Hello there, I'm Maria from the Rich and Simple Living. Today I'm going to show you what seeds I've bought for the garden. Um, I did do a little vlog a while back um, about seed saving, what seeds I'd saved. So obviously I've got those. I mean, we did the jack o' lantern pumpkin seeds, so we've got them saved. Got loads of them, but probably not going to use nowhere near the amount I've got. Um, these aren't vegetables, these just grow up my trellis, some sweet pea seeds that I've saved and if you remember I was telling you that it was from one single purple plant, well one seed that must have dropped in and uh, regrown and it was all purple so I'm expecting all of them to be purple so that's going to be interesting to see because the original pack that they were from they were multicoloured. They were antique something or that, I can't remember. I also have some runner bean seeds that I've saved. The, these are stringless variety. I can't remember the name of the variety, but they were stringless. These make really nice beans. I've still got quite a lot in the freezer. So I've saved some seeds, beans from there. So we'll grow some of them again. And if you remember in that vlog, for those that have seen it, um, I showed you those vintage seeds in the great, great big jars, quite heavy jars and that my uncle had saved for years and years and years looking at it and so I'm going to have a go at growing some of them as well. I won't fetch them out and show you now because you can always take a look back in one the vlog further back. I think it, it was something about um, have I got vintage seeds or something like that it was called. Well, I definitely think I have. Um, I've also got some other pumpkin seeds. These were giant pumpkins. Um, I think I showed that in one of the vlogs as well. Great big giant pumpkin. So I've got those seeds as well. I'm definitely not going to plant all of them because what we're hoping to do with the pumpkins is pop them onto the front lawn and grow them there. Uh, I've got some fruit trees on the front. I ordered some Victoria plums, another apple tree and another pear tree for the front. They've still not come yet. I ordered raspberries and rhubarb at the same time. I have them, they're in, but I've not received the trees yet. I kept getting notes saying, oh, they're delayed, they're delayed. And then another one said it should be about the 31st of um, December. Then another one the 18th of January. So I don't know. I think I'm just going to have to send an email if I've not heard anything. Probably by the end of this week, next week, I'll have to send an email by the end of next week to see what's happened with them. Because obviously they're paid for, so I don't want to be forgotten <laughs> but anyway seeds I've just recently bought I ordered online and bought I was not sure about going out to buy them so I've got some um, red cherry tomatoes now I don't recall if I've grown cherry tomatoes before I'm not really sure if I have it oh years and years ago normally grow the money maker variety and which I do want to grow, but I've got to get some seeds for them. When I ordered these, they sold out. They weren't in stock for the money makers, but I noticed they are back in stock now. So I must order some of them. Last year, I just bought a couple of plants that were already like so far grown like that. And I got them from the um, one of the garden centers, but it wasn't very good they went brown and spindly they weren't very good not like when i do my own seeds so i'll go back to do my own seeds this year now another thing i've got uh i've got both of them in here i seem to have some missing actually i'll have to have a look what i've done with the others <laughs> um i've got some red barren onions now I have never ever grown onion from seed before. Um, we always get the little ones ready to plant and do them that way. I've never ever grown them before, so I have no idea what they're going to turn out like. Hopefully okay, so we shall see. That's going to be interesting to see whether they grow or not. Just realized I don't think about all my seeds in to show you. But I'm not sure where the other lot have gone. I got some carrots, which they say Autumn King 2. I think I need more carrots, actually, because we do use a lot of carrots. We use carrots most days, really. Even just 
to pick and eat at lunchtime, you know, when you're grabbing your sandwich and you, you get a bit of cucumber, you get a bit of carrot. Because like with my meal menus, most of my five a day certainly isn't in the menu at night. It tends to be from breakfast or dinner time when we get them. So carrots definitely need more. These say they can grow. Is it indoors, outdoors? I'll see. Also outdoors. I don't know why I said that because I've never grown them indoors. Um, outdoors from March and then you can start harvesting them from June, July time right through till November. So they're obviously quite good. So because they go on till late, I might get another packet of them. Um, something else I've only ever grown once and they weren't so successful last time. But these are Brussels sprouts, Evesham Special. So I thought, oh, we'll give them a go. And now we're digging that area of the garden up. We'll give them a go. That's starting to look like it'll happen soon because we've got some um, pallets from somebody we know. We've got just some pallets. We're going to make the fencing to go around because obviously we don't want the dog running through the vegetables all the time. So we're fencing it off. Um, so that should be happening soon, hopefully. It'll have to happen soon because it won't be that long until planting time, will it, really? So, yeah, anyway, I've got some Brussels sprouts. So I'm going to give them another go and see how they get on. Something I've grown quite a lot of, especially when we had the allotment, is broccoli. And that's always gone well. This is Autumn Cavina. Um, so indoors from February, but... I don't normally sow this straight outdoors, so that any time from March, it says. And then you can harvest from June through to November. So again, sort of through the summer into the autumn, which is quite good. And we do use a lot of broccoli as well, actually. We put it in dishes or have it like with Sunday lunch. We do use a lot of broccoli. So it's another one. Now I have ordered other vegetables, I've ordered cauliflower as well, that hasn't come yet. There's a few things that haven't come yet, um, leeks, unless they come in the last lot, I'm not sure. I must find what I've done with them. Got some swede, uh, if anybody's seen any of my vlogs and didn't know I'd grew some in a little, con well, little container, little square planting area, we grew some this year. Um, they come out quite well. Some were a bit squashed, but we did get a couple of good ones. But I think they didn't have the space. They needed more space. So they'll be going straight into the garden area. Again, these will keep right through from October through to March. So that's really good. And we plant them, I think it says so, outside in May. My light's not very good to see. It's a dull, miserable day today, so it's a bit hard to see. So yeah, the Swede, they, I'm not sure if I used all my seed I had last year. If I've got some open, I'll use them first. And obviously these will keep because the date's on them. So by 2024, so there's plenty of years in them, yeah. Got some beetroot boltardy. And again, after I ordered it, I thought, I'm sure I've got a packet of that not open. So I'll use the older packet first if I have. And this will keep again because this is 2023. So it'll come in for the following year. I must keep a catalogue of all these seeds, what I've got and what not. So I'm not to uh, keep on too many the same because eventually they're going to run out of date. It'd be a waste of money then. So yeah, these are quite good. Grow these this variety every year. Always had a brilliant crop. Again, got quite a lot of them in the freezer. They're really good. So I think March I can grow outside from. I don't tend to plant outside that early though. I tend to plant outside sort of April time. Always have done. I mean, I know there's all these gardening rules and things like that, but I've just always done it like that. Planted them normally in April time and no problems. These are good anyway. I think you can't really go wrong with beetroot, can you? What I'm going to do, I'm just going to nip and have a look what I've done with the other seeds so I can show you. Them. <laughs> I put them all in my crafting drawer, you see, so I knew where they were, but because these are in a separate packet, from separately, I took them down and forgotten them. So, yeah. 
So you've long like with the onions, what did I show you just? Some red onions, didn't I? Red onion seeds. I've also ordered some white onion seeds. This is a Bedfordshire champion. I think I have heard of them before, although I've, like I said, I've not grown them from seed before. I have heard of that variety. Um, so indoors from January. So outdoors from the end of March through April. Um, and then you harvest August and September. It's hard to see, sorry. <laughs> so yeah, I'd got the white ones and the red. So we'll see how they go. <laughs> also, I've got some cabbages, a red rookie. Got red cabbage, grown red cabbage before. That's always come lovely. I like to shred it and just steam it in the steamer for meals or I've pickled it before now for Christmas and things. Though we don't tend to do so much pickling these days. Um, and to match that I've got a white cabbage, a Savoy Tundra. I was looking for a nice white cabbage with good heads because that's why I like them sort. And this looked okay and nice solid head of cabbage so I went with them. So they look pretty much the same. RHS, I think, is that Royal Horticultural Society? <laughs> so, yeah, so I got them. So, what I can think of my head, what else I've got waiting for? I've got an order waiting for. I've got some leeks, um, cauliflower. Um, I think that might. Oh, lettuce. I've ordered some lettuce. I've got half a packet of lettuce left from last year, but I'll use them. I, what I want to do with the lettuce is put them in every couple of weeks, sow some every couple of weeks. So I've got them going right through summer and maybe early autumn if the weather's mild enough, especially as I, last year I put some in pots. So if I can do some in pots and it gets cool, I can just pop them into the greenhouse, put the heater on and keep them going. I did wonder whether I could grow them all year round like that. So that might be worth experimenting with. We shall see, maybe I will this year. We'll see how everything goes because we're digging the garden up and doing a lot more vegetables this year. Everything's going to be a bit trial and error. Because like I say, some things I've had before that have grown great, others haven't. You know, we'll see how it goes. Sweet corn as well. I've ordered some sweet corn for corn on the cob because I love corn on the cob. Oh, I love corn on the cob. We've grown that before down when we had our allotments and that was really good. It always grew very well. So I'm hoping to try some here as well. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, there's sort of an area I might actually put it in rather than the main garden bit because that will take up a lot of space. What I was going to use for my salad bit behind where the ducks are, I could put it because you sort of have to do them like in a square so they're all together sort of thing. Um, I might do them there. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Once the weather gets better, we'll start out in that garden. I'll take you out there with me and you can see what we're doing and how we do it. Don't do it any special way or anything like that. Um, not the world's greatest gardeners. <laughs> but everything grows and that's all that matters. So yeah, that's all the seeds I've got to date anyway. All I've got to show you for now. Um, and what I've got coming. And I need to order the money makers. Oh, and peas. I've forgotten to order peas. I do need to order peas. I'll put all these in one envelope and I won't be losing them in the big envelope. So yeah, I forgot to um, order peas. I do need to do that because I didn't save any peas last year because we eat them. <laughs> we eat every one of them. So I do need to do that. So yeah, that's all the seeds I've got for now. If you like gardening and you're interested in planting a little garden, you know, feel free to watch what we do. <laughs> Not always a case of follow what we do. <laughs> I might need to follow some of you. <laughs> So yes, I do need to watch more um, gardening sites and things like that to give me better ideas and when things go wrong I've got someone that I can ask. <laughs> so yeah, that's all I've got for now anyway. So tomorrow should be Sean's homeschool cooking lesson. Still don't know what we're cooking. I don't know, maybe we'll find some biscuits or something. Don't want to do anything too much because we've got so much food around and just want something a bit like that somebody will pick up and eat as they go you know so it doesn't get wasted whatever it is 
so we'll have a look. So join us tomorrow if you fancy watching and see what we do. So I'll leave you for now. Have a good day. Take care. Bye.